Hi guys, this is Liliana from Chevrolet Sweets. Today I'll be showing you how to recreate this little monster cake. Hope you enjoyed the video. You will need to purchase this giant cupcake silicone mold and then to create the base you're going to cover the entire inside using some candy melts. You're going to do a first coat, then put it in a fridge for at least 15 minutes and then you're going to do a second coat. Carefully pull away your mold and then gently remove your chocolate and transfer it to a lined parchment paper. Spray your molds with vegetable oil making sure everything is nicely covered and then simply fill them up with your best batter. Bake your cakes at 350 for at least 35 minutes, insert a toothpick and then when it comes out nice and clean you know they're ready. I like to leave them in their molds for at least 5 minutes and then I can gently remove them. I also transfer them to a cooling rack and then just cut off the top part to make sure that everything is nice and leveled. When you use shape pans or cake molds, you will notice that your cakes are kind of dry on the sides, but that's okay. Simply remove them like so. It is normal, so don't worry about it. You're going to simply remove the sides and also cut a little bit of the bottom part so that it will be able to enter in your uh, chocolate casing that you have created to begin with. Spread a small amount of buttercream onto your cake plate and then transfer your chocolate casing that you've created on top of it and this will ensure that your cake will not move. Then you're going to spread a small amount of buttercream on the inside of your casing and what this will do is it will ensure that your cake will stick to it. I cut the bottom of my cake in half and then I'm spreading buttercream in the middle, putting the top right on there and then simply transferring it on the inside of my cupcake and I'm pushing it down with my spatula making sure that everything is nice and stable and covering the entire surface with buttercream. All the material in this video will be linked in my description box, so have a peek to see where you can purchase all the items. So now you can go ahead and place your top part of your cake on top of your cupcake, and then you're going to cover it with buttercream. A little trick that I have, I'm using the same color buttercream that I will be using for my little monster cake. And the reason why I'm doing this is because if you're using white, the white is going to show through. I'm using Piping Tip 234 by Wilton and then what I'm doing is simply touching my cake and then pulling it down and this will do, it will create a fur effect. I'm going to do so all the way around for at least two rows. Once you're done with your color, you're going to do the same technique using a contrast color. I'm using green but you can use any color that you want. And once you're done that, you're going to alternate with pink and then once again with green and then so forth until you get to the top. Roll out black fondant and cut out a round shape using your cutter and then using the same cutter you're going to cut out the top part to create a smile. Using some light fondant you're going to glue teeth at the top and the bottom of your smile. You can do as many or as little as you want and simply use a little bit of water. I cannot say it enough. Water and fondant will create glue. Transfer your piece onto your cake and with the buttercream it will just stick there and won't go anywhere. Using white fondant create two round balls and then simply transfer that on top of an orange piece that you're going to cover your ball but only halfway. Once you've created your eyeballs you're going to cover the top part just like so with black fondant. Do so with both pieces and then you're going to finish off the look with little lashes on the side. Glue a round black piece in the middle of your eyeball and finish the look with a little white dot. This will give another dimension to your eye. Simply transfer them on top of your buttercream. This will not go anywhere, it will stick right there. And finish the look with a little cute bow on the side. And there you go. This is how I create my little monster cake. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you want more videos like this, Simply subscribe to my channel for free.